don't make very many videos about British things, so what better occasion than today? It's Hannah and bonus video time. Today is actually a really exciting day for, well, British people and people within the Commonwealth. Queen Elizabeth II becomes the longest reigning British monarch at 63 years, 7 months and 3 days, beating her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. So good on you, your majesty. I really wanted to make a video to commemorate this because it's actually quite a big deal. It's not something that happens every day and as someone who does appreciate the royal family, you know, I feel like it needs to be pointed out sometimes. So with that being said, the DIY I am making today are these really cute miniature crowns. You can wear them as rings, you can just have them as props, options. I just wanted to make a teeny tiny beaded crown because why wouldn't I? That's what it looks like as a ring, so my finger is now royalty. Yes! But anyway, I will stop waffling and let's just get on with the tutorial, shall we? So as I've said, to make this ring I am using size 8 seed beads in two colours. I'm using gold and ivory. I have a size 10 beading needle threaded with around 75 centimeters of Nymo beading thread which will be far too much but it's better to have too much than too little so to start off with we are picking up seed beads in groups of five so we've got three gold beads and two ivory beads you can make this crown as large or as small as you like just make sure the bottom band is in multiples of five this one's 35 beads long which is a bit big 30 beads long is the best. Then you're going to tie those two ends together to create a circle. Make sure you're pulling it nice and tight. Yeah. Then we're going to go through those next three gold seed beads. Trick to remember here is that you never want to thread through the ivory seed beads. So you're picking up three gold and then you're going through the next three gold. You're skipping the ivory out completely. You don't want to thread through those. They're purely decorative. So pick up three gold, go through three gold. Yes. You're going to continue that round for the whole of the row so you have a circle with points poking out of it. Almost looks like a sun. Obviously you can make this just in one colour if you prefer, but yeah, I, it's easier to teach with two colours. <laughs> so then when you've gone through those final three seed beads, you need to finish off the thread or at least knot it um, once, not necessarily finish it off at all actually. So you do this by putting the needle underneath the thread of the row you just did and then back through the loop that that created. And then you're going to tie it in a nice snug knot. I'm sorry if you can hear people talking, there's people having a very loud conversation and they've been having it for about half an hour, but pff, I can't do anything. So now you're going to go through the next two gold seed beads, you're going to pick up two gold, one ivory and two gold. Then you're going to go across to the centre seed beads of the three from the row that you just attached. Yes. Now you want to make sure this row is nice and tight because that is what's going to give it structure to make it stand up. So picking up two gold, one ivory, two gold, and then going through the centre gold of the row that you just attached. And yeah, we're doing that all the way around as well. But yeah, they've literally been stood outside for such a long time having a conversation and it's starting to get on my wick because I've got a quarter of an hour to record this before the bells go again because I live near a cathedral and they're just talking. So annoying. So rude of them. So yes, I'm going to go through that last centre one which can be a bit tricky to find but I promise it is there. And once again, knotting the thread in exactly the same way as before. Then you're going to go through those next two gold seed beads because I said we never want to thread our needle through the ivory. You're going to pick up three more gold seed beads. 
and then go through that next gold seed bead so skipping out the ivory completely and then you're going to go through the next four gold now this can be tricky to do all at the same time you can do them one at a time that's not a problem so you're coming out of the gold next to the next ivory one you're picking up three gold and then going through the next five gold seed beads might be easier to see than it is to explain so loud outside. It's really annoying. I'm trying not to break in bad while editing a video here. How rude of them. So now that is your crown finished. We do have to finish off the thread though, otherwise it's all going to come undone. So as we have done before, you're just going to loop your needle back under a bit of thread and then back through the loop and pull it nice and tight. The structure of this piece relies entirely upon how tightly you're pulling your thread. And then we're just going to sew back through our beadwork, tying knots every so often as we go, doing the same with the tail at the other end, just so it doesn't come undone. You can go through the loop once or twice, it doesn't matter. But yeah, that is your crown complete. Now you can use it for whatever occasion you fancy. this video I hope that you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up your support means an awful lot to me and oh, why not hit subscribe I post a new tutorial or video here in the corner of craft every Sunday and sometimes a bonus one just like this one in the week as well so it is worth you subscribing hopping on the party train and join the fun that we have in the corner that sounds really sad I don't just sit in the corner when I go to parties I promise I do dance quite enthusiastically be sure to tune in this weekend for Sunday's tutorial because you will be learning how to make this really cute friendship bracelet which is super easy to make but really adorable too. It's kind of got a lacy effect, it's got holes in it, it's all very exciting. Also next week hopefully I'm going to show you how to make a hat in the same style as this but different colours. This was my trial run. Do you like it? Do you like it? Don't tell me I look like Where's Wally. They're not the same colours. But yes, with all that being said, do you all now feel sufficiently British? I hope so. I hope you've all turned into someone with a pot of tea and a crumpet. Thank you very much once again for watching this video and I shall see you on Sunday in my next one. Bye!